Well, welcome back for another installation of Islam's inconsistencies. Today I want to talk about another inconsistency within Islamic theology, and this has to do with the idea of God's mercy versus the idea of God's justice. Now, this is important because Muslims, I believe, fail to understand the significance of God's justice. What, what does it mean for God to be a just God? Muslims, Islam teaches 99 names for God. There are 99 different names for God. Um, one of them is, is the merciful, the compassionate. Another one is the just, ultimately just God. And so, we need, to, I, we need to balance out this idea between God's mercy and God's justice. What does it mean for God to be merciful, but also for God to be just? I believe this is where Muslims miss the point. They love to have a merciful God. In, in fact, in every chapter of the Quran, except for, for chapter 9, Surah 9, every chapter of the Quran begins with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. The merciful, repeated 113 times within the Quran, at least, um, at the beginning of every chapter, with the exception of one, chapter 9. And so this, this idea of God being a merciful God is very, very ingrained into Islamic theology. And yet Muslims also believe that God is just. But, but, but what do they mean when they say God is just? What they don't understand is what justice entails. When we, when we read the Bible, we find exactly what justice means. Justice means that, punish, that sin must be punished. Sin must be dealt with. Our sins have to be punished. In Exodus chapter 34, verses 6 and 7, the Bible says, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast, in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty. You see, a God of justice demands that guilt be punished. Now, to, to kind of solidify this point, I'll, I'll talk about an encounter I had at a, at a local mosque um, not too long ago, where I was talking to some Muslims inside the mosque, and, and I pointed to this one gentleman, and I said, my friend, let me ask you a question. When you stand before God on Judgment Day, and He asks you, how are your sins going to be forgiven? What are you going to say? And he's going to say, well, Allah, I just asked you to forgive me, forgive me of my sins, and because you're such a merciful God, you're just going to do it. He says, I pray to Allah, I ask him to forgive my sins, and he just simply does it. That's, the, that's because he's so merciful, he's so loving. And I, I pointed to my friend and I said, you're under, you're, you have an a, a unbalanced view of God. You don't understand who God is. Yes, he's a merciful God. Yes, he's a loving God. But he's also a just God. And what does it mean for him to be a just God? It means that sin must be punished. I said, let me illustrate it to you this way. Suppose you're a young man, and you have a young family, you have a couple of young kids at home, you have a, a, a wife, you've been married for three or four years, you've had a steady job, but one day you walk into the office and you find that uh, you no you're no longer employed. You've been given the pink slip. You go home, you tell your wife, you console with her, you shed some tears, um, a week goes by, two weeks go by, the refrigerator starts getting more and more empty, the cupboards become bare, your kids are hungry. And so in desperation, you go to the supermarket, and you, you go there with a big bag and, and some baggy clothes, and, and you, you, you take stuff off the shelf and tuck, tuck it in your pocket and, and stuff it down your waist. You try to load up with as much food as you can, you walk out of the store without paying for it. And being... An, uh, uh, an educated, uh, not really, really well trained in, in how to how to crime, how to do crime, an uneducated, uneducated criminal. You walk out of the supermarket and, and you're caught red-handed. You've got the goods. There's there's no doubt you you've stolen, and you're taken before the judge, and the judge says you've been accused of shoplifting. How do you plead? And you say, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I've I admit what I did was foolish, I made a mistake, I promise not to do it again, I'll repay the store whenever I can, can you please let me off the hook? Just, just cut me some slack this time. Now if that judge is just, if he's going to serve the idea of justice, if he's going to uphold the law, can he simply dismiss your crime as if it's insignificant? No he cannot. 
He cannot. He must punish sin in order to uphold justice. That's what God does. That's what this idea of justice means to God. Even though He's a merciful God, and even though He's a loving God, He also has to be just. He has to punish sin. Now, getting back to that illustration, the judge in that case has two choices. He can pronounce punishment on the man, send him to jail, sentence him to community service, order him to pay restitution, whatever. But there has to be some sort of punishment. Or the judge can get up off the bench, take his robe off, stand next to the gentleman, put his shoulder, put his arm around the gentleman's shoulder and said, your crime has been forgiven, your sin has been forgiven, go take a seat, I'll take your punishment for you. That's a loving God, that's a merciful God, and that's a just God. And that's only the, the only God that we find in the Bible. This kind of God is not found in the Quran. You see, that's what Jesus did when he came down from heaven to take our punishment for us on the cross. He forgave us of our sins. He forgave us of, our, of that crime. And he took the punishment in our place. That's true love, and that's true justice. Justice was served. God loves us. You just simply need to receive that gift of free love that God offers to you. Receive it by faith. Turn your heart over to God. Let, him, let Jesus be Lord of your life. Your sins will be forgiven, and you can walk in the assurance of your salvation. My Muslim friend, the idea of mercy and justice is not found in the Quran. We only find that in the Bible. And we see that in the example of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. Read the Bible. Come to Jesus and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. It's the only thing that makes sense.